This video is in regards to the Bruker Dimension Icon Atomic Force Microscope. Here I'm going to show you how to mount a probe to its appropriate holder, and then to mount that holder onto the scanner head. On the left, you'll see a fixture we have to mounting probes onto their holders under an optical microscope. The holder itself is removable from this fixture. You can see there are four pins it's resting on. It affixes to the scanner head in the same way as it does to this fixture. In the center of it, there's a rectangular recess for resting the probe, and then there's a steel clip which will be used to hold the probe in place. The top center image shows an example of a probe which has been dropped onto the holder. Moving to the right, this is an example of how you should have the probe positioned on the holder. It needs to sit entirely flat in the recess. As a result, it's not a bad idea to blow any particles off of the holder before mounting a probe. You can do this with dry nitrogen mounted on the wall in the room. When handling a probe, it must always remain face up. If it ever lays face down, as shown in the leftmost image, you've likely ruined the tip and should get a new probe. Once the probe is in its place, gently press down on the back end of the clip. Slide it forward and gently release it down onto the probe using care not to move the probe around. It should look like the image on the right when complete. Next, we're going to mount the probe to the scanner head. Loosen the holder on the fixture so that it will be easy to manipulate with one hand later. Now loosen the knob on the right side of the scanner head. This will allow you to lift it up. Now grasp the handle with one hand and brace the body of the scanner with the other hand. Make sure that you place your fingers on the front of the body of the scanner head. Do not put it on the underside as there are sensitive parts you do not want to touch. Lift the scanner up slowly and smoothly. Be careful never to touch this optical window. This point at the bottom of the scanner is where we will place the probe. Press the holder onto the pins gently and evenly. You do not need much force. When affixed, the holder will be parallel to the base of the scanner. It will not go all the way to the base of the scanner. Instead, there is a small gap where it sits on the pins. Brace the scanner head again, and then slowly lower it down into the groove behind the scanner head. You want to make sure that it's all the way down before you let go of it. To check this, make sure that the scanner head rests below the black marker line on the steel behind it. If it is not done this way, when you release it, it may drop, causing damage to the scanner head. Once the scanner's in place, tighten the knob on the right to keep it stabilized. You're now ready to load your sample and operate the microscope. This is a close-up view of the scanner head to show you where the marker line is that you can use to judge when the scanner head is fully inserted. You want to make sure that it's below this line or you may damage it if you let go. This is a look at the way that the scanner head mounts to the steel fixture behind it. There's a trapezoidal shape piece that's attached to the back of the scanner which slides down into a similar shaped groove in the back of the fixture. Make sure that you slide it down very smoothly and very carefully, being careful not to bump and knock it around, as there are delicate optics inside the scanner head that could be damaged. Now I'm just going to unload the probe so that you can see it happen in reverse.
Now you can remove your probe from the holder. 